viewers can't stop talking about how well-made Five Nights at Freddy's is and how the show was developed behind the scenes to give the desirable effects will blow your mind. During the filming of Five Nights at Freddy's, the working name of Bad Cupcake was first adapted to get the film going. This was done so as to minimize fans breaking into the location if they knew Five Nights at Freddy's was really filming. And with how large the fan base is, it was a very necessary precaution to follow. Based on the huge fan following, the crew members and cast knew how realistic and scary the characters must be, especially Freddy, Foxy, Chica, Cupcake, Bonnie, and many of the other animatronics in the film. These characters were specially built by Jim Henson Studios, which is very famous for creating animatronics and visual effects. However, the costumes were all built and had to be worn, as you can see. Also, here's a behind the scenes picture of what Freddy's animatronics look like after everything has been set up. The fans were initially worried that CGI would be used to design the animatronics, but the designer Robert Bennett assured everyone that no CGI would be involved and he kept his word. But then that meant a lot of work actually to make the animatronics human-like with their different personalities. For Foxy, it was a very serious business getting the animatronic to function behind the scenes. So it took about six people to make Foxy move during filming as they all had to hold and move different parts of the heavy animatronic. And the crazy thing is they all had to move at once so that Foxy's movement didn't feel entirely out of place except for the scary way he was intended to move. But the director revealed that it was a challenge to get him even to stand, let alone walk. With all of these processes, more time was spent developing the animatronics during filming than in post-production. So it took more than a year to get all the animatronics in the movie ready for filming, which is a very long time because the shooting itself required more effort and specialty to make all the animatronics unique, fun, and scary at the same time. Although many people helped in the lifting and portrayal of these special characters, there was also a special motor that controlled the heavy suit. And the most stressful thing they had to deal with was the overheating of the motor, which slowed things down on set. The director of the film, Emma Tammy, explained that they usually had to take breaks to avoid the characters overheating till they stopped functioning. But there were still a few accidents on set anyway, as Foxy's hand caught fire due to the motor overheating. Just like the animatronics are very special to the fans, the cast and crew members also can't get enough of them, and they've announced on more than one occasion that Cupcake is their favorite. However, Emma has a different animatronics that tops the list for her. My favorite Five Nights at Freddy's animatronic is Chica, but it changes every day. I love them all so much. And the producer, Jason Blum, can't help but agree. My favorite Five Nights at Freddy's animatronic is also Chica. But then, the scariest of the characters behind the scenes is Freddy, as he made the director. Emma lose her breath for a moment during filming. If you found the film really scary, you aren't alone, as the crew and cast members also got frightened on set on one occasion when the stage lights were turned off in the pizzeria before the movie started to get really scary. The animatronics treated Mike and Vanessa to a very nice music flow. And here's what the set looked like when the scene was getting shot. <laughs> Another interesting thing about these characters behind the scenes is that they know how to crack jokes. Your friend's coming, Chica. Yeah. Yay! Yay! Baby's coming? It's your baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Don't eat your child. <laughs> <laughs> So when they aren't doing their scary jobs, they make the crew members happy on set. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Oh, he's looking at the face. Oh, he's already laughing. He's crying. He's crying. Oh. However, many of the animatronics are being worn and controlled by humans, but what's crazy is no one is wearing Foxy, which is very weird because the character has a unique personality. All right, Foxy's the only one I know there's not a person there. And that's even free. Oh my God. <laughs>
also, it took a lot of practice and rehearsals for every animatronics movement to be gotten just right during the preparation for filming. At a point in the film, Mike became trapped in a chair and couldn't move. And this is what the same chair looks like behind the scenes. The torture? <laughs> At some point. Mm. I'm guessing it's where they put the animatronic together. The security room is also a very significant part of the story. And it looks just the same behind the scenes. Poster honk. Oh, Squeeze Freddy's nose. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. And the room is exactly a favorite place for most of the cast and crew members to hang out, even though it looks so scary and unsettled in the movie. Aside from the scary and intimidating features of these animatronics, sound was also an important tool that caused even more tension for the viewers. And the sound utility on set, Emily Pulliard, explains how she got the details right when it comes to the strange sounds. It's time for a marking rehearsal, which is when we watch the actors do their blocking. So I need to watch closely and be planning in my head how I'm gonna wire them. Also, another thing that makes the film so great is that fans were greatly considered throughout the making of the show in terms of putting in the necessary details that could bring some sweet memories back for the viewers. There's so much in the movie that speaks to the fan base. The most significant place in the film is Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, where all of the children's ghosts are locked into the animatronics, and the same location that got Mike into a series of nightmares, and almost made Abby look exactly like this behind the scenes. So a lot of work was done to set everything all up and still make it look like an abandoned place. However, the building was actually really abandoned as it is located in Louisiana, and it was a hospital that was affected by Hurricane Katrina in 2005. So the crew Crew decided it would look really good to use for the movie, and they started by putting some finishing touches to it. And these pictures show the complete look of the pizzeria during filming. The director, Emma, explained how huge the design of the pizzeria was behind the scenes when she said, the design of the pizzeria was something I was really excited to bring to the big screen. And it was the largest element of the physical build for the movie that we had to get just right. The first incident in the film that turned Mike jobless till he took an offer for the Fazbear was because he mistakenly beat up a father who he assumed was kidnapping his son. The actor who plays the role, Josh Hutcherson, can be seen performing the stunts from the scene in what seems to look like a busy mall. A clearer picture further shows the actor and other crew members trying to get the footage of the fountain water scene, which was the beginning of everything that happened later on. Another behind the scenes detail is that Vanessa's character was initially planned to have her younger version in the film. Vanessa Vanessa revealed how much her dad hurt her as a child, and during the making of the movie, the character of a younger Vanessa was needed to feature a backstory. However, that version never made it into the film as they probably felt a backstory could have affected the momentum of the story. Kat Connor Sterling, who plays Max, also revealed some crazy behind the scenes. She shared the first look at the official script and working title of the movie. Although the film, especially the location, Fazbear, only had a few characters involved, there were a lot more people behind the scenes who were available to make everything work out well. What do you think about these behind the scenes details from Five Nights at Freddy's? 